stay tuned for a special Spinal King Sports presentation. Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. Welcome back to Petco Park. It's game number two of the National League Championship Series between the visiting Phillies and the Padres. The San Diego faithful are more pumped up than ever as their team leads the series 1-0. And welcome in everybody, glad you're with us. Game one of the National League Championship Series. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomkin. Postseason baseball, Singy, it's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that'll live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. You're watching the 2022 National League Championship Series on Spinal King Sports. Padres fans are more excited than ever as their team leads the series 1-0. Today the Padres once again hosts the Phillies for Game 2. After this they will fly all the way to Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia for Game Number 3 on Friday. And here come their Padres once again as they're ready to defend the field. Rob Thompson's starting lineup for his Philadelphia Phillies is all set and we're ready to show it to you. JT Realmuto will lead it off and catch once again, Gene Segura batting second at second base. And once again we have Bryce Harper, the leader of the Phillies, with a batting average of 407, 4 home runs and 7 RBIs. Everything's going swimmingly for Bryce Harper as he bats at right field. At left field is Kyle Schwarber, batting 6 is Bryson Stott at shortstop, Matt Veerling batting 7th at center field, Alec Bohm batting 8th at 3rd, and Garrett Stubbs as the designated hitter. And meanwhile, we will check out San Diego's defense. It's the same as last time, Profar, Grisham, and Soto in the outfield, and Machado, Kim, Cronenworth, and Drury on the infield. Machado is the winner of two gold gloves and one platinum glove when he was with the Orioles last decade, and was the winner of the Silver Slugger Award back in 2020 when he became a Padre. Jorge is the catcher, and Hugh Darvish is the pitcher. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the mound today, you Darvish. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And here it comes. JT Real Muto stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. First pitch, 135. And the righty deals. Fly ball down the line. Profar under it. And there's one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone.
Ball one, no strikes to Segura. That one down the line and foul ball. One down, base is empty. Check swing, didn't go. And it's two and one. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Next pitch is outside. Right-hander kicks, deals, stays alive. Lined into right. Soto makes the grab. And there's two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Bryce Harper stands in now, looks at that one inside. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And a count even one and one. And a pitch. That one missed. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Here's Harper, the count two and one. Swings through that one for strike two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And now it's filled up. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Darvish checks on the runner. Harper's back at a dive. Another move to first. And yeah, they're keeping him close. Back to first, and no luck this time either. Next offering misses. One ball, one strike. One oh. Here comes a pitch.
throw over to first, and he's back in there. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's a the ball. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Harper runs. Pitch in for a strike. Go to second. Ow! And that'll end the inning. Well, trying to get into scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. The Phillies got their chance and now it's the Padres' turn. And look, the fans are on their feet. They've been waiting for this moment once again. They're really expecting the Padres to do it again after last night. Phillies pitcher Aaron Nola is warming up on the mound once again. While he's doing that, how does that San Diego Padres lineup look? Well, it's just like last night. Manny Machado at third base, Brendan Drury at first, Jake Cronenworth at second, Ha Song Kim at shortstop, Juan Soto batting 5th at right field, batting 6th at left is Jerickson Profar. Catching is Jorge Alfaro, Trent Grisham the leader of the Padres of home runs and on base percentage at center field, and finally batting ninth is Will Myers as the designated hitter. And now it's time we look at Philadelphia's defense. Things are looking great for the defense, we've got Schwarber, Veerling, and Harper in the outfield, and on the infield left to right is Bohm, Stott, Segura, and Hoskins. Catching is Real Muto, and on the mound as the Phillies pitcher is Aaron Nola, who ranks second on the team with only 12 strikeouts, five strikeouts behind Zach Wheeler. Bottom of the first, and today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nola. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist, Singy. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Wind in the pitch. Manny Machado in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Schwarber moving under this one and makes the grab. One away. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Brandon Drury in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next one misses, and the count is 2-0. and oh. And he pumps it a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Strike two. The pitch. Swings and misses. And there are two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh one. On the ground to third. To first, and that is that. Nothing doing there for the Friars. We played an inning, no score.
back here at the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Darvish back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The 1 0. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Stays alive. Ground ball up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. One out in the second. Man, Chris, a jump throw like that is certainly worthy of the stat cast treatment. Let's see what the numbers have to say about it. Yeah, these are some favorable numbers, Boo. This is the type of play that showcases his arm strength. I mean, he made it look easy, but I promise you, that's not a throw every shortstop can make, especially with that much behind it. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Hoskins pushes it foul. The 0-1. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire, very consistent with his zone, Chris, gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now the shortstop, Bryson stops. Bryson stops. And that's in there for strike one. There's a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Kicks and deals. The punch out there, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down quickly, go the Phillies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and the batter will be the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. For the Padres, not shortstop. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Line drive. Caught. Batting fifth. The right fielder. Juan Soto. Now the youngster wants Soto. That one's in there on one. Bounce to the left side. 
They get the out on Soto. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And the right hander deals. And that skips in the dirt. 1-1 one, one now. And that's downstairs and outside. Kicks and fires. And that misses off the outside edge. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Out towards right center field. Harper under this one. Makes the catch in and over. Padres go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in is the speedy Matt Veerling. Matt Veerling. Darvish back to work. Way high. Pitch misses inside. And now 2-0. Oh. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. 2-0. Oh. Hard hit left side. Over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Batting it. The third baseman. Alec Bohm. And now it's Alec Bohm. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. You'll one. And that one fouled off. And he grounds one to the right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Two up, two down. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Now it's the DH, Garrett Stubbs. And first offering is fouled off. Top of the third, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Phillies down in order. And we're still knotted at zero. Welcome back. Jorge Alfaro at the plate. Leading up for the Padres, the catcher. Jorge a wide to kick the pitch. Alfaro. Good eye right there. Ball one, no strike. And he deals. Yeah. There's a strike. Just missed. The wind of the pitch. Got him. And one away. 
He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that, that time, a little anxious. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. And downstairs. The pitch. That misses. And a count to an one. Righty delivers. Pitch misses there. And that's ball three. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Will Myers now. First pitch, not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the wall. Next pitch, not even close. Grisham over at first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Runner takes off. Strike in there. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. And down on strikes he goes. Third out. On to the fourth. Still scoreless. And welcome back. Here's a speed threat. JT Real Muto. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The pitch. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And the pitch. That misses. And now three and one. Righty to the plate. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Gene Segura at the plate here. And that's in there for strike one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The pitch. Ball one there. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. The Phils still looking for their first hit in this one. 
Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Ripped on a line. Grisham settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting the right fielder, right, Harper. And now here is Harper. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. Darvis checks on the runner. Real Muto back in there. In there for strike one. Move to first. Real Muto dives back in safely. Back over to first, and he's back in that time as well. Here comes a pitch. One and one. Inside just missed. And a pitch. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And two away now. Digging in. Kyle Schwarber. Rounded out his first time up. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And here it comes. Run around the move. Go to second. Out there. And the inning is over. To the bottom of inning number four now. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Petco Park. Ready to go. Bottom four. Manny Machado up to the plate. The third baseman, Manny Machado. The wind of the pitch. Fought off foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. The next offering misses, and it's one and one. The pitch. There's the strike. And now two and two. And now it's filled up. And the righty deals. That one fouled off. And that's just foul.
Three, two down. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Brandon Drury to the plate. Brandon Drury. First pitch just misses. Machado gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Swing and a miss. Throw. Tag. Out. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Next pitch downstairs. It's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two, two now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Back to work, 3-2 now. And he walked him. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his no command bad. in this no one bad. just seems Take off the out there. Man. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. Runner on at first with one gone. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Next up is the cleanup spot for the Padres. Ha Sung Kim, he's over one. First offering and it just misses. pitch and it's fouled away I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield two on one out swing at a ball lifted to center field two down yeah that was a wasted RBI opportunity but competitor well, like him he is looking human. forward to making up for oh. it in his next at bat Here's Juan Soto, 0 for 1 so far. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full right. speed. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that's outside. And the pitch comes up empty. That's strike two. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Left hand hitter waits. And the Padres waste a chance. A 
lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here in San Diego, ready now for the fifth inning. And now Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. This is off the inside. Ball one. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. And he deals. Good eye right there. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The 3-1. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Left hand batter waits, and a foul ball, he stays alive. Three, two. On a line out towards center. One up, one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Next offering is down low. One and oh. Kicks and deals. Hoskins pushes it foul. <laughs> On the ground to third. Zips it across, and the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs, base is empty. This is Bryson Stott. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. In there, and it's 0-1. He takes a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. And the right-hander deals. Up the middle. Kim handles the chance. Safe at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. Big knock there to keep the no. inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Adrian Morahol into the game, and he has some nasty breaking stuff. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Runner at first with two away. And now here is Matt Veerling. Grounded out his first time. Kicks and fires. Rudder takes off. 
throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. And we still have no score. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder. Jerickson Profar. Leading up for the Padres. The left fielder. Jerickson. Profar. A wide to kick the pitch. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. The Rockets one to right. And the Padres take the lead. It's 1-0. Pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Now, now here is it. Jorge Alfaro Jorge. on the ground. Alfaro. Fires over to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on That's track after the homer. Number two, Trent Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. Look, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Stott over to first in time. That takes care of Grisham. Will. Will Myers, the next up for the Padres. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Line drive, base hit. That's a good the sound base coming base off the bat, three. man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's Mark one of those swings Otto. where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Bailey Falter takes over on the mound, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 70, Bailey Falter. So the batting order turns over. Here's Machado. Throw to first. Myers back in. That one's in there on one. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. Now the 0-1. Myers goes. There's a ball. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Matt Veerling. A wind in the pitch. That's outside. And that is ball one. Double barreled action in the bullpen for San Diego. Tim Hill up and loosening in the pen. Wilson getting cranked up as well. And the pitch. And another ball. The pitch. Now 3-0, and oh. so definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at-bat turns out. In for a strike, now 3-1. and one. And now the count filled up 3-2. and two.
stays alive. Next pitch is popped up. Drury makes the play. One down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Down the third baseman, Alec Bohm. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. In there for strike one. Good eye in that spot. The 1-1. One, one. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Here's a 1-2. That's hard hit in the line. Profar makes the play. And yeah, there's two away. The batter, the designated hitter, Garrett. Two Stubbs. outs, base is empty. Here's the Phillies DH, Garrett Stubbs. Struck out swinging his first time. Ball and the first one. pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Had a good eye there. That one in for a strike, two and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Padres one and the Phillies nothing. Welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. For the Padres, the third baseman, Manny Machado. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Can't get there. Base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Brandon Drury now at the plate. Brandon. First oh, offering Drury. misses the mark. And now the lefty. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Boom. Under it. And there's one away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Stirring in the Phillies' bullpen, Brad Ham up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Brogdon, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Machado, the runner at second with one away. 
That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Foul ball there. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Out. Two away now after the drop third strike. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Pop Young Kim. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha Sung Kim. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a pitch. There's a strike. Two outs with a runner at third. Two outs. They had a foul ball. The one two puts it in the air out towards left center, and that ends the inning. Padres leave one, but they still lead it one nothing. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. The catcher, JT Real Muto. Morahome, back to work. And first offering is fouled off. In the air, left field. Profar under it. Makes the grab. And there's one down. The batter number two. Second baseman. Gene Segura. Now the number two hitter. Gene Segura. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Looking to get the tying run on base. On the ground to first. He takes it on his own. And two away to start the seventh. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper stands in for the Phillies. A strikeout and a walk. In the air, out towards right center. Grisham makes the catch, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. Juan Soto now. Leading up for the Padres, the right fielder, Juan Soto. The pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle. Gets it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Now batting left fielder. Jurek says. Throw far. Here's the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. His homer earlier is responsible for the only runs they've scored in this one. Yeah, forget small ball. They're kind of living and dying by the long ball so far in this one. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. 
That clips the zone, and it's one and one. The wind of the pitch. Profar gets a piece there. The one, two. That one drifts inside. And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here comes a pitch. And there's a foul ball. He's got it, and there's two away. The batter, the catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Jorge Alfaro, the next up for the Padres. In the air, right field, Harper gliding as he moves to his left. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that'll do it. Three up, three down for San Diego, but they lead it one to nothing. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, number 75. And he'll work on holding this lead. We go to the eighth and digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And a pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Josh Hader, the closer, is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and one. Boom, that's cheddar, baby. The one one. That one missed. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Two one pitch is in there, and the count is even. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Two, two down. Good eye right there. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And yeah, there's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Substitution now at first base. And here's the pinch runner, Edmundo Sosa. No outs, runner at first. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And that's in there for strike one. There it was, a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Next one misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Sosa gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering misses, and that's ball two.
Right-hander kicks, deals. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. At the belt and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Now it's the shortstop. Bryson stop. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Bunting, and he pops it up. And there's one away. Now back, the seventh fielder, Matt Veerling. Matt Veerling stands in for the Phillies. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And there's a ball. And one and two. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Ground ball could be two. On a second, they get one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this. Brandon Marsh. He's out in left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. Back here at Petco Park. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. For the, the pitch. The center fielder. That one finds the corner. It's 0-1. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Brad Hand, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Here's your one. On the ground to the left. On the run. Sent it over to first. One up, one down. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over yeah, on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Will Myers. Next is the designated hitter, Will Myers. Popped in the air, left field. Marsh racing over to make the catch. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front now on that batting. pitch away Good and wasn't able to stay close. So the lineup Machado. flips over. Up now the Padre leadoff man, Manny Machado. In there, and it's 0-1. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And the 0-1. Just missed. And he deals. That one hit to right. A little bloop single. And that extends the inning. Now batting, 
first baseman. And now the first baseman, Brandon Drury. That one ripped. Hits the fence. Segura with a relay home. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. One left for San Diego, but they're on top, 1-0. So Josh Hader gets the call of the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Number 71, Josh Hader. Back here in San Diego, here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. The third baseman, Alec. And the pitch. Just missed. And the 1 0. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. The pitch. Down the line, and it's foul. pitch outside corner got him looking he can't believe it a well, big strikeout right there and maybe a little controversial with the call I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound no question about it it's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the play today Garrett Stubbs will hit next he's a catcher by trade but the DH here in this one First pitch is in the dirt. Slider misses outside. Struggle a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Left-hand hitter waits. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Left-hand batter waits. There's a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Next offering is downstairs. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. On the ground. Cronenworth gloves it. Throws to first. And they're down to their last out. Now batting. So the Philly batting order turns over. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. First pitch, and he just misses. Two down, nobody on, and fouled off. One run game here in the top of the ninth. The next pitch misses, and a count two and one. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Two two now. Stays alive.
Down to their final strike. And that one fouled off. Next pitch misses outside, and it's a full count. And now the lefty, and the tying run is on base. Well, that right there could end up being a big walk in this game. He's certainly a threat on the bases, especially with them looking to tie this thing up. And now for the Phillies, Gene Segura. Real Muto runs. It's a pitch out. Throw to second. He's safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Runner leads away at second. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Grisham gets there. He's under it. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. been watching the National League Championship Series on Spinal King Sports, home of the 2022 World Series.